Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be looking for some dodgy model trains on Etsy. I had a bit of a uh, epiphany a few uh, days ago when uh, I was searching for uh, some uh, like little N-scale uh, switcher, a little DDT switcher, and uh, I found this metal one from this company called Aurora, and it was made in Mexico, and uh, when I followed the link, it brought me to Etsy, and it kind of struck me, you know, I've searched for trains on eBay and Amazon before, and I find eh, deals are a bit mixed. Um, but I've never thought to search on Etsy before, and the thing about Etsy is if people are selling trains on Etsy, it's probably people like antique dealers and things like that. So, I figure there's probably an opportunity to get some really unique, um, dodgy deals, because, uh, you know, the people might not know what they're selling, so the condition may be listed, uh, not entirely accurately, but there's a chance to find a good deal. So uh, I thought we'd all look together and see if we can find any really interesting deals. So here we are on Etsy now. If we're uh, dealing with sellers that don't know what they're selling, we're going to want to search up things that are very broad. So uh, we're just going to search up something like HO Train and see what comes up. And I can already see a whole bunch of uh, various things. I mean, you have sellers like this, these are homemade trees, so that's something that is kind of common at Etsy, as, uh, as far as I know. But uh, then if you've got stuff like this, you can see somebody selling um, an entire lot of uh, old trains. Now, uh, this is the stuff you might want to be a bit careful about, because you've got that up front price, but what I've noticed... Yeah. <laughs> so, um... We're gonna be we're gonna be trying to find a deal. We're gonna be trying to find something that's uh, a good price, but also doesn't ding you on shipping. See, this is the type of stuff you also see at places like antique stores because the thing is, when you have sellers who don't know what they're selling, they also don't always know how to gauge the price. This is not worth uh, 100 Canadian dollars, uh, especially since it's missing parts. But uh, yeah, you never know. Maybe we'll find something interesting there. So this is the type of genuine stuff. This is, again, uh, like a homemade uh, display case. This is the type of stuff that the, that, you know, the sellers actually would be knowledgeable on what they're selling. Yeah, I got this. It's going for, let's see here. So this is a dummy locomotive, so $22. Eh. The shipping's not too bad on this one, though. So that's sort of interesting. I've got other things like this old Bachman one. I'm not sure if this is a split chassis. Yeah, I think it's a split chassis model. So that's uh, that's another type of thing you'd probably want to uh, avoid on these type of websites. Yeah, here's something kind of cool. You got a whole bunch of uh, vintage uh, straight and uh, curved Tyco track still in the package. If you're an old uh, Tyco collector, this might be sort of interesting. So, uh, yeah, that's kind of cool, but uh, once again, that might uh, cost you a, a fair uh, a fair dime. I just saw, saw something on the last page which I thought was sort of interesting there. Let's have a look at that. Where'd it go? There it is. I have no idea what this is. Huh. This is Strange type of stuff you find on these uh, on these websites. Uh, let's go to the next page, see what we can find. There's another uh, display case. Another display case. We got a few uh, display case sellers on here. <laughs> Check out this listing. You guys got his uh, cat there. I'm not sure if the cat's supposed to be there for scale or something. That's that's kind of funny though. I like I like that. You can tell you're uh, dealing with. Uh, Sellers who are very uh, homebrew, let's say. Here's something that looks kind of unusual. This is a uh, vintage Marklin HO gauge train from the 40s. Okay, I think this is an old AC uh, AC model right here, and it looks to be missing its contact shoes, so I suspect that that one uh, probably wouldn't run, but. Uh, yeah, it's still sort of interesting. And as we go down, the, is that Hagrid's house? <laughs> Groundskeeper, uh, hut nightlight, wizard hut. Looks like uh, Hagrid's 
Hagrid from Harry Potter's house to me. Let's see what they're up to there. Hmm. See what we've got right here. A Tyco Spirit of 76 Caboose for uh, 7 Canadian dollars. That's not too bad a price. Um, but how much do they want? Yeah, I think it's because these are coming from America. Uh, I suspect if you were in America, this probably wouldn't cost as much, but... Uh, I mean, the shipping, when it's worth more than the item to me, it's... Yeah, really a lot more uh, sort of questionable. I got this person right here. They're selling an entire uh, set. Uh, various vintage stuff. I think this is another list listing from America. I should point out, I am in Canada where we use Canadian dollars, which are worth uh, currently about 40% less than American dollars, so that might have a bit of an influence on uh, on the prices you see. If you're from America, this stuff's probably all a lot cheaper. In fact, if it's a Canadian seller selling in Canadian dollars, well, you've got an instant 40% discount, which is uh, really not such a bad deal. Yeah, something sort of interesting. It's not really uh, my idea of uh, pricing for an old lifelike, but uh, this is cool nonetheless. Anyway, another strategy I have is uh, you, you type something in like uh, HO Locomotive. Again, you have to be sort of broad on these uh, websites there. And then if we uh, put in uh, lowest price, then we're going to find deals. Now, uh, we've got a lot of stuff right here. These are all just uh, coloring pigments. But eventually, we're going to start to see some listings here. And then that's that's it can help you uh, find uh, good deals quick. Right here, we got a uh, an old Tyco locomotive. Now, how much is shipping on this little number? Yeah, there's another uh, American seller, so it really might not be fair because they have to cover all this border stuff. But if you're in America, shipping's not too bad. That might not, uh, yeah, might be it might be decent. Montreal locomotive. Let's see what we got here. I wonder if this one's powered. Nope, I'm pretty sure that's the exact same dummy I looked at earlier. Nice. Uh, I've also got this one right here. Uh, CN Rail Locomotive Series Diecast Chassis. And it looks like it's missing its roof. Oh, it's Canadian seller. See, and uh, see, since it's a Canadian seller, this one's a. Uh, only charging $13 for shipping. So that's, you know, it's an old Atherton locomotive. If it wasn't missing the roof, that might not be uh, the worst deal, actually. I find it weird in this picture, though, it looks like it has the roof, and in the others, it doesn't. That's sort of peculiar. Oh, see, we've got another one. This looks like the exact same locomotive. Here we got a locomotive. This one's more. Bit of a better picture, but this one actually is missing the roof, so that's kind of odd. Huh. Well, there's <laughs> there's the one we saw earlier. They're both here. That's them. It's got to be the same seller. It's the same seller, same shipping price. Let's uh, check out the description. Seeing locomotive. Or more about this item. One is missing uh, the cab roof. This one has the roof intact. Okay, so they mixed up the uh, photos, but uh, yeah, here we've got a uh, an old uh, Atherin blue box. Like this is clearly uh, customized. I mean, I guess it'd be better to judge by the other photos because those are actually the correct ones for this. Um, but uh, yeah, I got the twenty-eight dollars shipping plus the or twenty-eight sorry twenty-eight dollars for the item and then another thirteen for the uh, for the shipping. Which in comparison to eBay's prices, this is actually really good shipping. Um, so. I think I'm gonna get this one. <laughs> That's a basket. All right, so I'll take care of that. Let's continue looking for some uh, for some shady stuff. Another strategy you can do uh, is you can go to the seller and you can look and see. Okay, this is clearly not a model train dealer, but uh, sometimes when somebody's selling one model train item, they're selling other. Yeah, here we are. See, there are the uh, two locomotives. Gee, I guess I better order this one quick. Apparently three people have it in their basket. Um, but yeah, they've got all sorts of other rolling stock. And this is good, because if you find an item that is uh, good shipping, you can usually find more items. 
So it seems that they're selling all the uh, locomotives that are in good condition for $28. So they've just picked a uh, kind of like a flat rate for everything. But I believe that is everything that they're selling. So anyway, I'm going to check out on this item and then, uh, yeah, we'll uh, see what uh, arrives. I'm very curious. I've never bought anything off of Etsy before, so I'm kind of uh, excited to see what turns up. Well, it's here. Uh, let's see what we've got. It uh, took a bit of time to arrive, but uh, hey, better uh, late than never. Let's say one thing, this uh, box smells very strongly of some sort of perfume, I don't know, kind of odd. Oh. Oh. Look at that. I sent all these uh, telegraph poles. I didn't even ask for these, they were free. And uh, some sort of slightly uh, broken Canadian Pacific box car. This could make a cool display actually. It's got some interesting damage there. But the most important part is our locomotive, which I paid uh, exactly, I think 41 Canadian dollars for with to get it here, shipping and all. And, uh, well, for $41, it doesn't seem too bad. It's not in perfect condition, but uh, it is the one that they uh, promised with the uh, cab and whatnot. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's quite all right. Why don't we take this thing over to the track and test it? I don't know if uh, the person who packaged this up was wearing some really heavy perfume or if maybe the previous owner of this locomotive was a smoker and they tried to spray it with some to hide the smell, but I don't know why this thing smells really strongly of perfume. That's just kind of strange. I've never had that happen before. Anyway, let's give it some power here. It's an Atherton blue box. Yep. That, uh, that runs pretty nice, actually. Look at that. It's got a working light. It's uh, a lot quieter than I was expecting, and well, it does run to begin with, which is uh, which is good. I don't think they ever promised that it did, but I was pretty confident. I mean, it's an Atherton Blue Box. These things are very tough. It's rare I see these things uh, broken, and even if they are, they're usually not too tricky to fix. So let's give it a little more power here. Yeah, you know what? Fair enough. I uh, <laughs> I think that was money well spent. Probably buy it a little bit cheaper at a train show, but you know, it's kind of a unique experience getting to buy something off of Etsy for the first time. And uh, yeah, I think overall it, it seems to run really well, which uh, I think means it's probably all of its parts are low mileage. So uh, yeah, very good. Well, folks, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed our first segment of buying shady things off of Etsy. Maybe I'll do another one, but I'm not entirely sure. But uh, I think of all the things you could have bought off of Etsy, yeah, this had to have been the coolest. Anyway, thanks for watching, everyone.